everyone. My name is Andy. Welcome to my channel. I know I look a little odd. Um, this is how I plop my hair. Um, that is the technical term. I plop my hair in my t-shirt um, before I dry it while I put my makeup on. Um, if you're interested on in how I do my hair, I do have a video that um, where I tested out the new Living Proof Curl Line and I will link that in the description. Mm -hmm, I sure will. And it just kind of shows you my process. But for this video, um, I'm not going to show my hair. I am actually, I'm going to film an, a video for uh, one of my other channels. And I was going to do my makeup and I was going to use my Glam Reflection Rose Palette. And that, this palette I bought on Christmas Eve. And I realized that I've never used this in a video. I was going to. And then I got more ColourPop, so I did that instead. So um, I will show you real quick. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, this color and this color are very, very similar. And I'm not real happy about that, but I mean, I got a really great deal on it. It was like, it was Black Friday. So that's when I bought it. It's really pretty. I've used it several times and I really like it. Um, the formula is very smooth. The um, shimmers are not really they don't there's not a lot of fallout and it's really great patch packaging this is metal well maybe it's plastic it looks metal but there's a really nice mirror i'm not going to show you the mirror because it will blind you with my light but there's a mirror right there and it's a nice mirror really nice mirror so i'm going to use that today i'm going to do my foundation and all of that stuff probably on time lapse that way um it's not a really really long video because really what I want to show you is this, but I can't do this without doing the rest of my face. I don't ever start with my eyes. So stay tuned and we're going to do some eyeshadow. Just a quick little quick little makeup and now we're going to do the uh, BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Rose Palette and let's get started I gotta find my brushes yes I'm still on the floor I'm still on the floor because I haven't done anything yet I haven't done anything with my room it's been really busy it's been really busy um oh I did order two new uh color pop palettes i ordered the all that and i ordered a different one not the wine but the sip one mm. i'll put it up on the screen i'll put the you know thing up on the screen um i ordered those about a week ago i couldn't make up my mind between the wine and the sip one um and then i saw the all that so I wanted the all that because it's a bigger palette. Um, 
Then I couldn't decide between the two. I got the sip one. Now I'm thinking I probably got should have got the other one as well, the wine one. However, they're all very similar. They're not the same, but they're very similar. So I'm really, I'm really curious to swatch them. Sorry about that. I'm really curious to swatch them um, and see what they're all about. So I'm going to go in with this right here, this color right here. Um, just on my crease. something um yeah I'm really I'm really curious to swatch them and see if I actually wasted my money on buying both of them um there are differences in the palettes however they're really really similar and then I'm really curious to see um how they compare to the menage a moi palette which you didn't know I did a video on that I did two videos on that I did a Valentine's Day and then I did did another one um, because my friend thought I should have used the glitters which is not really me but it was sure a fun thing to do because we went out for Valentine's Day That's pretty. I, I like like this palette. I've used it before. Um, I don't know. It's 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 okay. It's good. I'm glad I bought it. I didn't spend a whole lot on it. Um, I have other palettes that I like better, but I don't know. I'm gonna use this one up here for just the outer corners. So what's been going on guys are you watching anything new are you doing anything new are you reading anything new oh my gosh I've been on a reading kick I found an author Robert Ellis he has two series um, both of them are LAPD cops that's kind of that's kind of redundant isn't it they're both LAPD which means they're cops. Um, one story is a, a male cop and the other one's a female cop. And I like them equally. They're really good. Um, I like, I'm going to blend that in a little bit. Um, I like murder mysteries and not necessarily the cozy murder mysteries. Um, I like kind of the gritty ones, like the, I like the realistic ones, right? realistic. I don't, I don't really do the cozy. Um, okay. So this is what I feel about that. Um, the cozy mysteries. And if you don't know what cozy mystery is, it's the really vanilla where the girl lives in town and she usually has some other job other than a police officer. And she stumbles upon a dead body like Jessica Fletcher. Okay. So murder she wrote, which I actually liked that show. I used to watch it with my grams. And I liked it. Um, but it has, the, basically, if you're a reader, you can break this down. So it's the same outline for every book. The story is the same in every book. They just have different characters. And it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating to me. Okay, moving on. So um, I really like um, Robert B. Parker. And if you're old enough to remember, oh, this is this guy right here. I'm going to do in the front. If you're old enough to remember Spencer for Hire, it was a show on TV. Um, Spencer was the main character. Well, that series was based on a series from um, an author named Robert B. Parker. And Robert Urich played Spencer. And... Um, it was really good. I started reading these books in high school, so that long ago. That he's been writing them since the 70s. And he has since passed away, I believe 2008. But uh, there's a, an author named Ace Atkins, 
who took over for him seamlessly. Like you can't tell the difference between the two at all, at all. So good. Um, I'm gonna go into this color down here. It's very similar, but it is a little darker. And I'm just gonna darken up my crease just a little bit and then go underneath my eye. Um, so I love him and I love James Lee Burke. His books are set in New Orleans and New Iberia, Louisiana. You guys notice I'm not like opening my mouth as much. I've been working on it. I've been practicing. So yeah, I've been reading a lot lately and um, I did. Oh, this is so much fun. Uh, last weekend, my friend Sarah invited me and five of her closest friends and her two daughters. We went to a little town south of Columbus and there are some neat little shops and things like that. And she treated us to an Airbnb. Oh my gosh, an Airbnb. And we spent the weekend there and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Um, now, I ate way too much bad food. Um, I usually stay very low carb, but um, I didn't. I ate everything under the sun. I woke up on Sunday morning and my face had broken out like I am going through puberty. That was, uh, that was this guy down here. I'm gonna put this, this is a shimmer, I'm gonna put that in my tear duct. Um, so yeah, that was something, right? That was something. I woke up all broke out, but I know why. It's because I'm not used to eating that kind of food. And then all of a sudden, um, like we went to a chocolate factory. We went to a popcorn factory. We went, we had ice cream. I had so much bad food. I mean, it was, it was pretty awesome. I gotta say, I'm going to put a little highlighter on. Um, I bought this essence pure nude. Um, I'd seen some YouTubers using it. I don't wear a lot of highlighter because I feel like it, uh, brings out my texture, but sometimes I'll just put it, you know, a little bit. So yeah, we did that and that was so much fun. Um, oh my gosh, we had, she did a sip and dip, you know, the, the paint party, but we didn't have anybody coming in and showing us what to do. What she did was gave us instructions. Like we didn't, we could see the final picture if we wanted, but she gave us instructions and we had a sponge, Q-tips, and one of those um, long wooden orange wood sticks. That's what we had to do the painting. So that was so much fun. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. So the next video I make, I'm going to have, see I make my other YouTube video. Um, I have a reseller channel. I am a reseller, that's my full-time job. Um, resell things on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, all of that. So um, I have a channel for that and So I always have to, you know, do my hair and makeup beforehand because I can't just go on there all willy-nilly with no makeup on. Um, but I do that in my office. I do those videos in my office. Um, with all, you know, with all my Evie stuff around. So pretty soon... Pretty soon, I promise, pretty soon I'm going to actually have a real setup, a real studio, beauty room, whatever. At this point, because this room's already painted, um, it just needs stuff, you know, it just needs furniture in it. But the rest of the rooms need painted. Before we figure out what we're going to do. Um, this is the 
falsies push-up drama. I don't, I ran out of my lash stiletto. It dried up and I'm lost without it. Um, so yeah, so as of right now, I'm still in the empty room on the floor with all of my crap strewn around. And of course my dog, my dog is always right there by me. What did I do with, I just had my eyebrow brush. What the heck did I do with it? This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what needs, it needs organized. I had my eyebrow brush like five seconds before I started. Stand by. Honestly, I just had my stupid eyebrow brush. I'm just gonna use a pencil. I need my spoolie. My eyebrows are crazy. They need done so badly. Need my spoolie. So yeah, tell me what you guys are reading. If you read, if you don't read, tell me what you're watching. Tell me something cool that happened to you this week. Brag a little bit. Brag a little bit about yourself. I would love to hear it. I would. Okay, we're going to do lips now. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly. Honestly. I'll probably do the same thing, same damn thing I always do. I am going to use this. I used this in my menage a moi. Uh, that's the NYX lingerie push-up. Um, I have to use this mirror over here, though. You know what? I'll use my BH mirror. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Man, my face is so broke out. And then I bought this little guy the day that I went to Ulta, but I didn't buy it at Ulta. I bought it at the Dollar General, but it's wet and wild. It's wet and wild. It's cute. It's a really pale pink. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go blow dry my hair and I'll be back. Hair's done. It's a little crazy today. I kind of like it though. Um, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you hanging in here. If you're still here. I really appreciate you hanging in here. I just wanted to play. I just wanted to play with some makeup. You know, chit chat, whatever. So, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. If you click that little bell, it'll tell you when I have another video come out. And I know it's not consistent. I understand that. I understand the key to YouTube success is cons consistency. However, this is just my for fun channel. I appreciate you guys being here, but I don't really look to like to make much money off of it. Um, I do things for fun. I'm Andy and I do stuff. That's why I kind of titled it Andy Does Stuff. So far, Andy's only done hair and makeup, but you know, when it warms up and I do more activities, then I will film them. Also, right now I film on my phone and I think I'm getting ready to get a GoPro. I'm so excited. It will really help with my reselling channel because I am out and about doing things. And um, yeah, so uh, until next time, I appreciate you being here. I really do. I'm so excited when I get to spend time with you guys. So until next time, you guys have a great week. And we'll see ya.